In this short video, we're gonna show you how to care for your F500 after use, cleaning, and once a week cleaning. Here are the two areas you need to clean on your F500 straight after use. Pop open the cleaning head, remove the hard waste tray, and give that a clean. Remove the wastewater tank and give that a clean. Clean the hard waste tray, tip out the rubbish, use the brush provided, and give it a quick rinse, and you're ready to go. Cleaning the wastewater bottle, Pop open the lid, tip out the dirty water. Toilet is best rather than the sink. Now we're gonna show you how to clean the brush roller. This should be done every week using the tool that came with the machine. So if you've got long hair in the family, this is what your brush roller will look like. The tool provided with the F500, just put that on the one end and then just force the hair off the other end. Quick and easy, do that weekly. Now we're gonna show you how to clean the metal grate behind the cleaning roller. Remove the cleaning roller. Remember, these should be replaced approximately every six months. Remove the metal grate. You'll see three arrows lined up and a metal grate that just slides straight out. This blocks all the debris from getting inside the machine and blocking the internals. Remove that once a week, give that a wash and wipe inside the channel. Just wipe with a paper towel inside the channel to remove any gunk reinstall the metal grate, make sure you line up the three arrows and you're done. Quick and easy, once a week. Now we're gonna show you how to clean the filter. This stops debris from getting inside the wastewater tank. So just remove the clear filter and give that a rinse. Quick and easy, make sure when you install it that the tab faces forward. Now, if you have an internal blockage or your machine's leaving too much water on the ground, you can go one step further. Remove the side plate, remove the channel guide, and there's your wastewater channel. Give that a clean. Gunk may build up in here. Just give that a rinse. It's quick and easy. Doesn't require any tools. Just use the tool that came with the machine. Slide that back in. Put the cover plate back on, and then put the filter back on. Remember, the filter tab faces forward, all right? So you can see if this is blocked. I'm doing it from a weird angle here, just so you can see it, but you can see that if the filter's blocked, it's clear. So once a week, give that a clean. Now once a month, you may need to clean underneath the high zero. So remove the, the two water bottles, unlock the head, and lie the high zero on its front. Best to do it on a table if you can. Now underneath here, gunk may build up over time. So just give it a wipe. You can use a paper towel or you can use uh, antibacterial wipes, but you can also clean in the little cavities that you find in here. And you see the gunk that's come out. But if you need to, hair can build up around the wheels. All you need is a flathead screwdriver and you can pop those wheels out. Have a look at how easy they come out. Pop that wheel out. There's a little cavity behind it and you can remove those and remove the hair and then just put them back in, especially if you've got some pets. So cleaning the underside is quite easy if you need to do it. It only takes a minute. So just tip it on the back, give it a wipe and put everything back together again. Now that you've done the physical clean, removed all the debris, it's time to do the internal clean mode two. So with the clean water tank, just top it up with water. Warm water is best. Add half a cap full of solution to the tank and make sure that the waste water bottle is empty. Place everything back together again, sit it on the dock and turn the power on. Once you turn the power on, it automatically defaults to mode one. Come in close, John, we're gonna show you. This is the mode button. Once you press this, I'll press it from this side, it changes to mode two. Mode two means it's not running any fast, it's not doing, it's using double the water. So what it's doing now, it's cleaning itself. It's cleaning the roller and all the internal piping. I'm gonna turn the machine around and show you. Hopefully you can see this, John. Clean water's going in, waste water's coming out. Can you see that? It's going through its cycle. Once the clean water tank is empty and the waste water tank is full, the machine will turn itself off. All you need to do, empty, refill, put it on charge and, and get ready for the next time you need to use it. So once a week, run the mode two internal clean to keep the machine smelling fresh and free of blockages.